Some companies do not borrow from banks and from capital markets, while others borrow extensively. How much should a company borrow? Is there an optimal amount of borrowing? These questions were first addressed by two Nobel laureates, Merton Miller and Franco Modigliani. The Modigliani and Miller propositions, also known as the MM propositions, were derived in a perfect world, in other words, in a world without taxes or frictions. In this course, you will relax some of the assumptions made in deriving the MM propositions to achieve a more realistic picture about the choice of capital structure. Specifically, you will examine the impact of taxes and bankruptcy on capital structure.